Hello, 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 dirty trucking, dirty trucking. Out here, as you can see where I'm at, back at the bus stop. Uh, Sterling Heights did respond. Two, squ uh, two uh, squad cars showed up. They just left. Uh, pulled up in that driveway down there where the car just came out. That's where the Avis location is, over there. Unfortunately, they tell me it's a civil matter. Uh, we can't make them give you a car. But I said your presence can stop them from doing this. You can't lure people out to your location, lie that you called them in advance to tell them they had no car. This is not the proper way to operate a rental car service here in Michigan. You do not book a rental, generate a reservation number, confirm it the next day I get a confirmation email, a reminder email to come pick the car by noon, and then another email saying that they actually had the car. Juanita, your car is here. And get all the way here for that lady to come out the back to tell me she tried to call me, said they had no car for Uber drivers. Now, dear. But them are all cars. This is the Avis budget location side. But them are all cars. You have a customer here that has gone and came all the way out here from downtown Detroit. And you have the audacity, Avis, not to provide me a car or honor the fact that it was booked, reserved, and confirmed twice. I sat at home this morning waiting for them to call to tell me it was canceled. Didn't have no car. No car. I didn't get that. I got a confirmation email telling me to come pick the car by noon. Then after that email, I got another email saying, One Nita, your car is here. Now I'm here and there is no damn car. So I thank Sterling Heights Police for showing up and responding. Uh... It's not a crime, but their presence is letting them know the severity of what the hell you're doing. The officer went in there and talked with the young lady because now if you lie to that officer that you had no car for me, your ass has committed a crime then because you lied to an officer. That's but the officer comes back out, says they have no cars. I told his partner, who took down my information, I let him see the emails, saying it was confirmed. I let him see the email, telling me to come pick it up. Only thing I didn't get to let him see was my call log. To let them see that there was no incoming call from this place like this woman said. There's no voicemail on my phone. This place was doing nothing but playing games. This whole operation is ran by uh, foreign individuals when you call to get a rental car. Every time I call, it's nothing but foreign individuals on the phone. All of them. This program doesn't work. It's a scam, it's a farce, and I'm sick of it. I done spent my last, I done wasted my last day fucking around with this shit, trying to get some type of income generated. Now I'm fucking tired of this damn shit. All this lying, all this bullshit going on in fucking goddamn Michigan. I'm sick of it. You lied to lure me, you lie to get me off my damn job. And I'm sick of it. I'm gonna come all the way out here to fucking 15 mile in Van Dyke at another goddamn Avis. And they doing the same fucking thing. I'm tired. Avis and Dearborn does the same thing. But at least they don't let you get out there except what they did my son. My son got out over there, didn't have no car. He came from Flint. Me, they'll just call the next day and cancel the goddamn reservation. You're not gonna force me back on driving a damn truck. I'm gonna sit home until my rent run out and I'm not
not going to work for you or anybody. I'm tired of working for you. I'm tired of working for people and trucking, trying to tell me what the fuck to do, where to go, where to be, how to act, what equipment to drive. I'm tired. I don't want to drive trucks no more. I want out this state. I want out this fucking state. I'm tired of it. Just too much nonsense going on. Right up under your fucking nose and you're not doing nothing about it. You got people coming out here. I came to work. Uber, Lyft. Who is all these foreign individuals that's answering? And it's not resolving the goddamn problem. Had one foreign guy telling me no. Fuck your no. Don't tell me no. You not gonna what? Transfer me to a supervisor. No. Well, get the fuck off my phone. Stop answering the phone. Because I'm sick of it. Call Uber. Call Lyft. Apply to them if you don't believe me. Try to get a rental car. See who answering the phone. Nothing but foreign individuals. And it's been nothing but a fucking game. Nothing but a fucking problem. Nothing but a goddamn aggravation. And I'm tired of it.